Welcome back everybody and let's continue our adventure in Dofus Touch. In the last episode we landed in Astrum, our big city, which on the PC is the only free to play area, so to get to other areas you have to pay. But this game is free to play, like we said, so you can get anywhere without paying. Um, now, where to go from Astrub? Uh, there are a lot of areas that you can go to, like to train or just to explore. I would recommend just walking around Astrub and its outskirts, the forest, uh, the meadow, just to see the monsters around the city. Uh, right now, we're not going to do that. Uh, we're going to go to the bank, but also if you want to go back to Incarnate, the training zone, you can click on your class statue or any class statue in the city and select go to Incarnum. Uh, once you hit level 10, we are way past level 10, uh, you can open your account in the bank uh, to store all your uh, resources, your equipment, your potions, whatever. Just to keep yourself uh, lightweight and not get in trouble with um, lack of storage space. You can dump all your things in the bank. It's not free, however, but we'll see when we get there. First thing you have to do is save the Astrup Zap. It's located at a 4 minus 19, I think. So let's go there. So that's the first thing you absolutely have to do because. To travel anywhere in the world, you see how big it is, you have to use zaps. So, first one is the Astrup zap, just save it. And if you click on, uh, click on the zap, you, you will see all the zaps listed here that you have discovered. Right now there's none. Uh, the zaps from Incarnum area don't count, so those are separate ones. Uh, so let's go down to the bank and see how that looks. Inside the city walls, only monsters that will uh, that you will see are these little birds called peewees, and actually they are good good source of income because they drop sesame seeds that are used by tailors, and tailor is a very very hard profession. Okay, so the bank is at four minus sixteen. You just get inside and talk to one of these owls and consult your personal safe. Right here you see that I have uh, some wood and some ores from my profession character. And each time you open your bank account, you're gonna have to pay a fee that's equal to the number of slots that you're currently using in your bank account. So right now I'm using six slots, this potion, uh, walnut, chestnut and ash wood, as well as copper and iron ore. So that's six commas to uh, get inside your bank account. And you can easily transfer your, I don't know, let's say this boar snouts, transfer them in, and next time I'd have to pay seven commas. So bank is a great way to unload all your stuff and... and... Uh, relieve yourself of all these pods and wait on you. Okay, so what now? You have a whole world in ahead of you, uh, but you don't know anybody. I would recommend joining a guild. That way you can find players that uh, could be or uh, could be higher than your level, but it's a great way to uh, get some people, get some hunts, uh, parties, uh, experience groups, dungeon dungeon groups, whatever, or just to chat and stuff. Um, I've joined the family guild. It's a new guild, like you see uh, in this uh, guild window. We're gonna go through all these uh, panels. So the guild can have uh, dozens or hundreds of members, depending on on its level. Family is level 11 and the way you level the guild is to contribute your combat XP uh, So you donate your XP to the guild and that way the guild uh, the guild uh, Improves and levels up 
Currently it has 87 members and it was created 10 days ago, so October 3rd. You can see all the offline members and you can sort them by name, rank, level, XP uh, currently being donated, so percentage of combat XP, total XP donated. You can see this Sadida has contributed almost 50,000 XP and the achievement points they obtained. All right, let's hide these offline members and customization is only available to um, to the leader. So you see, so you can upgrade your uh, perks. Perks are these centaurs that you can uh, put on a map, almost any map, that will collect loot from fights that take part on that particular map. So if I were to place that perk here, and somebody else would get into a fight, that perk would have a chance to get some loot from that fight. Of course, they can be killed by other players, but uh, the higher your guild level, the more points you can put into um, strengthening your collector. So you can put points in uh, prospecting, wisdom, pods, and the number of perks. And on the right side, you have uh, spells that he can use during fights. Um, currently there are zero perks. Oh, and you have to be level 50 and have the right to uh, to place and collect loot or retrieve loot from your perks. Rights can be give, uh, given out by the leader or anybody who has uh, transmit rights. Uh, right? So second in command, treasure, protector, almost any, any, uh, any rank. Up here you can choose the XP percentage given to the guild and all the ranks a guild member can have. Next up are paddocks. We currently don't have any, but you can uh, raise your mounts. They're so sort of like pets. Uh, you can raise them there, breed them and let them grow. And lastly, there are houses that you can buy, sort of like um, guild storage space, teleportation points, and something like that. Mm. Alright, I think that's about it. You can see the average member level is 36, and our highest is, I think, 50, 58. Alright, so if you want to join this guild, you can message me or the leader um, and we will take you in. Alright, so joining a guild I think is pretty, is very very important because unless you're playing on 8 accounts or something like that, um, finding a group to go into dungeons or XP hunts, uh, loot drops, it's gonna make it a lot easier. Uh, so let's let's go let's go to explore let's go exploring some more and when we were in that incarnum dungeon we had to uh, hand out the key to get inside now you remember when i was talking about getting inside dungeons and a bunch of keys uh all right another achievement that you would either have to hand out a key or have a bunch of keys. So to obtain the bunch of keys, you have to fight doppels. And doppels are um, special kinds of monsters. And there is one for each class uh, that can be found in their temples. The temples are in Ankama, in uh, Amakna region. You see all these little icons so temple of kra temple of pandawa uh here is temple of osamoda and so on and so forth so when you uh when you defeat one single doppel you will get the plumes and with just one the plume you can exchange that for for uh the bunch of keys and the bunch of keys you will see later on when we defeat the doppel what it looks like and what it's used for. As we move, as we move forward or or downward, let's say, 
Um, we're gonna get to this zap at 3 minus 5, I think. So we're going to uh, fight the double and get that bunch of keys. But here's another zap at 3 minus 5, I think. Yep, and there we go. And we're not gonna save it, we're just gonna use it. It's automatically saved in your list, so you can use it whenever you want. And here you can see our Astrop City Zap. Uh, it's gonna cost 140 to get back, to teleport back to the city. But we're just gonna keep movi moving. And uh, let's go down to Yop Temple, or Yop Temple. It's right here. So one, three. Another thing you can do when you've reached Astrup City is just walk around all around the uh, all around the big map that you've seen, and you will get experience points as well as some commas just for exploring those areas. As you can see, Kawaii River, uh, seven point two thousand XP. So you will level up really really quickly but uh, keep in mind that i have paid for the subscription so i'm getting 50 percent more xp however uh, eventually you're gonna travel to all these areas so just exploring around will not only get you xp you will get achievement points and you will get uh, zaps you you will discover zaps so next time you form a group or join a group to go into a dungeon or xp hunt uh, you won't have to uh, You won't have to walk to that destination. You will just oh there we go level up You will just teleport to that area and the group won't have to wait for you What do we say the position was all right? Uh, one three right so yeah uh, saving all the zaps in the world is uh, Will make it easy will make your life easier later on that's for sure Okay, you see the the crosses of the temple, and here we go, the Yop temple. Let's get inside. And inside the fighting room. If we talk to the temple merchant, or see what he has in his inventory, you will see that uh, each class has one special spell scroll. Um, there you see a bunch of keys and some scrolls. Scrolls are used to boost your characteristics. You see intelligence, strength, chance, wisdom, agility and vitality. So all the characteristics can be scrolled up to 100. You cannot scroll them past uh, 100. So one special spell scroll per character bunch of keys and that's about it they cost one diploon which are uh, gained by which you can obtain by defeating doubles so let's talk to this to this uh, eop trainer or who whoever he is orlando pull all right so take on each of the doubles that's gonna start the quest and we're gonna get a nice reward after we battle all the doubles or Let's uh, better say defeat them, because if you lose, you don't you don't get anything, of course. Okay, yes, we want to start right away. And you s see all these green arrows popping up. Those are um, those are arrows that show where all the temples are, so they make it a bit easier. If if we go to our quests window uh, and class temple, you will see all the list of all the doppels. And each time you defeat a doppel, um, that particular line containing that doppel will be grayed out, so you know which ones you've defeated. You can defeat, uh, you can fight doppels once a day, so that timer resets at I think 6 a.m. And for completing the training or defeating all the doppels, you will get, as you can see down there, 21,000 XP and 20 doubloons, 15 doubloons, sorry. So right now we're battling the Eop, and he has 200 um, HP. But 
since he's a close combat, I chose him because he's a close combat fighter, and I don't think we'll have much trouble uh, defeating him. Also, we can, we can, oops, let's move this here. As you can see, he can't do anything right now because he's just too far away. And we're gonna snipe him from afar. He's already down to 57, so next turn he's gonna die. Unfortunately, we won't be able to uh, get the second challenge because we've just been locked. Uh, but we have a teleportation spell, but eh, who cares? Alright, so one more turn because Xeller Soundglass cannot reach. Its range is uh, starting at 2. And Doppel Down. Alright. Our end of fight panel window. Um, and our achievement. So we got 4000 XP and the Plume. That now we can exchange for for uh, the bunch of keys, so buy one, and also our special spell, uh, which is Sekiro's Trampandawa Rogue, there we go, rollback. All right. Right next to the Eop Temple is the Kra Temple. So let's let's give it a shot and do one more double fight. So Kra 0.3. Kra is our archer. So we're either going to have to hide be behind obstacles or get real close. So start training. We can see this scarecrow and this um, I know this wooden thing that's gonna block block the line of sight for the cross so it doesn't hurt us. We can switch to uh, battle mode and hide behind these behind this uh, what was it scarecrow. We forced it to get closer and right now we can hit it. We got the mystique challenge again. Which is my favorite one, just use spells. It stole some of our uh, AP, so we won't get the chance to use our sunglass. Once again, this frozen arrow that uh, he's casting, or she, is also stealing action points, so we cannot use our second uh, spell. And this is not good actually because it stole three action points and we cannot use our uh, hand right now. So we're pretty much dead. Um, yep, not much we can do. So after we've died, we've teleported back to the city, to our saved zap. And if we check the zap right now, we can see the other one that we've saved, the castle one. Uh, we can disable all these uh, arrows. And the reason for our defeat is also lack of equipment. We don't have anything useful right now, still that beginner set. Uh, but we can upgrade our intelligence. There we go. And a bunch of keys. Like I said, a bunch of keys is very, very useful because it's gra because it grants you access to all the dungeons once a week. So you can get inside any dungeon without handing out the key. So uh, once a week it will reset and you will get that sort of like a key back. So if I were to get inside, uh, I don't know, blacksmith dungeon today, uh, I would, uh, I would be able to get inside it again after a week without presenting a key. Um, so right now, you can start searching for groups. 
that are interested in uh, dungeons, fight bosses, uh, drop stuff, and level up. Um, so, right now you can explore, you can get around, kill monsters, uh, con continue with the doppels if you can defeat them. Uh, like I said, you get XP, you get loot, you get the plumes, and you can exchange those plumes for uh, scrolls, which you can either use or sell. They're always in high demand, so you won't have any trouble uh, getting money. And um, I think that's it. So this episode contained our description of guilds, uh, we got acquainted with the bank, we saw what the plumes are, bunch of keys, doppels, and again, if you want to go back to Incarnum, you can use any class statue. Um, just travel around, save some zaps, get that XP from exploration achievements, and you'll be good. So, that's about it for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or you think I forgot something, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.